everyone, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to talk to you about toilet paper. So today we're going to be reviewing five different brands of eco-friendly toilet paper. Now you might be wondering, what makes toilet paper eco-friendly? Isn't it made of paper? Yes, and that's kind of the problem. <laughs> so most toilet paper is made of toilet paper from virgin trees, meaning the trees are cut down for the purpose of us wiping our butts and flushing it down the toilet. And that's extremely wasteful, because of course, I'm sure we all know, trees are the things that sequester carbon. They are the things that keep this planet at a nice temperature, but we keep cutting them down to wipe our butts. So eco-friendly toilet paper is where that comes in. And what makes toilet paper eco-friendly is a few things. First is it's made of recycled paper. If it's not made out of recycled paper, it's made out of bamboo because bamboo is a grass, which means when you cut it, it regrows and it also grows really, really rapidly as opposed to trees that take tens to hundreds of years to grow. And when you chop it down, it doesn't regrow. I personally think recycled is the best way to go anytime as opposed to a virgin material. But if you have to use a virgin material, bamboo is not that bad. Other things to look for is they come in cardboard boxes, they come with no wrapping on them, or they come with paper wrapping. So there's no plastic in sight. Of course, that makes pretty much anything eco-friendly, but not just plastic free, but also are the components recyclable or reusable, which in this case, cardboard boxes, and even the paper on the outside can be used for packing material. I think it's a great thing to reuse as well. And then the last thing to look for with eco-friendly toilet paper is unbleached or chlorine-free bleach, because chlorine bleach, um, most bleaches in general, are very harmful to the environment as well as not so great for you especially when you're using them in sensitive areas. Those are things to look for when you're looking for eco-friendly toilet paper. This list is not conclusive. There are other brands out there. These are just the five that I wanted to review. If you want more toilet paper reviews, toilet paper brands, you can check out my friend Kristen's videos. She has a few about toilet paper. I'll leave her channel linked above and below. But today, the grand reveal. What brands are we even reviewing today? We are reviewing Cloud Paper, Bim Bamboo, the famous Who Gives a Crap. Do I only have four brands? I look foolish. And whole roll. So I kind of lied. We're only reviewing four brands today. <laughs> Sorry. But here's how the review is going to work. First, we're going to be reviewing them based on packaging. That is something I like to review here on this channel because it doesn't matter that much, but it does matter. We're also going to be reviewing them based on cost, softness, with a cheek test, cheek of my face, don't worry. I'm going to be talking about how I personally like to use each of them, and then we're going to wrap it up with a toughness test. How tough is each one when you pull on it? How quickly do they dissolve? Um, and I did get those ideas from Kristen, so Kristen, thank you for those ideas. And then we'll be back here for a final thoughts. Which brand do I like the best? Are they all the same? Do they all suck? We'll find out at the end. So I'll see you back here. Okay, let's go ahead and do an unboxing for Who Gives a Crap? Ugh, look at this box. This was a brand that I put off ordering for the longest time because I did not want to ship this all the way to Japan. That is a lot of emissions. And honestly, I thought it was kind of expensive. But then I looked at it again. I got on their website and I looked at it and I'm like, wait a minute, $48 for 48 rolls. That's only a dollar per roll. Granted, I guess that's still probably a little more expensive than like Charmin, maybe? I don't even know. I haven't bought like big brand toilet paper ever. Mitch would like to say hello, wouldn't you? Oh, say hi. You go up there? So it's not nearly as expensive as I thought. Plus you're also paying for you know, fair labor and eco-friendly. So I think that's really important as well. So this is so nice. You get 48 rolls. Like this is gonna last us forever. As you all know, for reviews here on my channel, we review packaging. I think their packaging is amazing. You can see it feels all the way up to the top. It's a perfect, perfect fit, which means they don't need to add anything extra in the box to make sure that stuff doesn't slide around and get messed up. It's entirely plastic free. Every single roll just comes with this paper that is easily recyclable. Some things to note, they donate 50% of profits to help build toilets for those in need. This toilet paper is 100% recycled, no inks, dyes, or scents, and is still a strong three-ply. They also have a bamboo option as well, but I went with recycled paper because two reasons. Bamboo is still a virgin material, even though it is really sustainable. And two, supporting the recycling industry is so important. So basically, I always try to support recycled when possible. And I love that this is actual paper. I was afraid it was going to be like a paper, plastic, paper, waxy combo that couldn't be recycled. But this is 100% paper, so it can be recycled. Looks like standard toilet paper. Doesn't look like anything weird. They still have the cardboard center, which is recyclable. I'm excited to use this. Literally, this could not have come at a perfect time. This is the first brand that I've gotten. We are on our literal 
literal last roll of toilet paper. And then we'll be back at the end for some final thoughts. So I hope that you stay tuned all the way to the end because there is a surprise coming for you at the end. So you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Bim, bam, boo. Um, and then this one is just 24 rolls. 24 rolls in here. It's really, really compact. Love that already. Here we go. Again, the toilet paper goes all the way up. It fills the box perfectly. So there's no need for extra packing materials. Um, first thing I do notice, they are quite smaller than Who Gives a Crap. Their packaging is simple. It is paper as well, just like Who Gives a Crap. So Bim Bamboo, as you can tell by their name, probably they are made, they're made of bamboo. Recycled toilet paper is great, but bamboo toilet paper is still really good as well. Even though it is a virgin material, bamboo is really, really sustainable. And that's because it is a grass. And if you know anything about grass, grass grows back once you cut it. Same with bamboo. If you chop it off, it will regrow. So something right off the bat, I'm noticing this paper is significantly thinner. Like who gives a crap is like actual paper. And this is more like tissue paper, which means some things to note. They they claim there's zero lint, um, no perfumes or chlorine bleach, which is great. And then it's also FSC certified sustainably sourced. Here's what the roll looks like, just like a standard. Um, right off the bat, <laughs> I'm gonna do the face test for all of them. It's still soft. I don't think it's as soft as who gives a crap and it is a little thin. Can you see me through there? It's not that thin, but it's a little thin. So their 24 pack of toilet paper, which is the one that I got is $30. So it's just over a dollar per roll. A little bit more expensive than who gives a crap, but still a really good deal. I'm back. So far, this is my favorite box. How pretty is this color? You'd think by now that I would um, just bring a knife in here, but I like to keep things interesting. How nice. Package is plastic free. This box is made from 80% recycled material. This insert is made from 100% recycled paper. They use soy based ink, so these papers are compostable, not just recyclable. But here we go. Again, filled all the way to the top. And here's the size of the roll. I think this is pretty much the same as Who Gives a Crap. Tell me if you think this is a coincidence. Wait for it. Okay, I'm gonna open both of these real quick. So Kristen, my friend Kristen from Strolling Through Life mentioned this in her paper towel review video that two of the brands she reviewed had the same exact print, the same exact size. So it looks like they came from the same like manufacturer and then they both just dispensed them. So let's see if these have the same print as well. Can you see the texture on that? I think it looks identical. Okay, so there's a little difference right now. This one's got a brown tube inside and this one's got a white tube and cloud paper is slightly smaller. This one's who gives crap, this one's cloud paper. So they're not quite the same. It's time for the face test. Seems like a really thick, soft toilet paper. So their pack of 24, which is the one that I received, is $30, which I believe is the same price as Bim Bamboo, which is just slightly over a dollar per roll. So still, as we're sitting, Who Gives a Crap is the best deal per roll. But just something to point out with Who Gives a Crap real quick, they do have the bamboo and the recycled. The recycled is $4 cheaper. Well, it depends. That's why I went with the recycled because it is slightly cheaper than the bamboo. But they both also come in like different packs as a one-time purchase. So it's the exact same for Who Gives a Crap. They offer both their bamboo and their recycled toilet paper at a 24 and a 48 pack. And I went with the 48 pack because I'm just gonna have toilet paper for the rest of my life, but also because it is technically cheaper per roll. It's one of those, it's more expensive up front to buy 48 rolls because it is $48, but their pack of 24 is also $30, just like the other two brands we've reviewed so far. So regardless of which brand you choose, if you're picking 30 rolls, it's all, or 24 rolls, it's all gonna be $30. But I do like how that Who Gives a Crap does have that bigger option, which is technically cheaper per roll, which is pretty cool. With brand number four, the final brand review for this video. Um, this is from Whole Roll. Now, I was not expecting this. We literally thought we got someone else's package when this showed up on our porch because we don't order from Amazon. We even canceled our Prime account. So it was also a little bit disappointing when I opened it to see eco-friendly toilet paper wrapped in plastic. Yes, yeah, so sorry, I already opened this because I was like, what the heck is this? More plastic. There's a box inside the box and it came from Amazon. So first off, thank you, Whole Roll, for sending me some Swedish dish cloths. I already have a roll that I got at Goodwill because I was tr interested to try them out. So I'm never gonna have to buy rags ever again. And then, so this is most likely Amazon's fault, but look at this, there's so much space. Like you do not, this, Tiny box. Okay, it's not tiny, but it's a thin box. Was in here. I do like their box, nice and compact. Vegan bamboo, 
Um, FSC certified, which is cool. There's only 12 rolls in here, three ply 300 sheets, and it's organic bamboo. So that's all, all great things. It's just really unfortunate that they, I could have swore they sold them on their website. This was gifted to me. Ugh. So this is, it's just frustrating. That's funny. Right where that tape was, it says plastic free. And this was plastic tape. And then because they ship with Amazon, Amazon uses plastic. Let's go, is this plastic free at least? Okay, that's good news. So here's their roll. All these rolls are so similar with the packaging, which is fine, but it's just kind of funny. This one looks the most like normal toilet paper, but it looks kind of like a roll of Charmin, you know? And then the outside, I wouldn't say this one is the softest according to my cheek test, but it's, it's not like it's abrasive or anything. I still think it's gonna be a great toilet paper. Um, and then again, they're all just wrapped in paper, which is recyclable, or you can reuse it as packing material, which I certainly will be. Yeah, those are my initial thoughts. I'm gonna give it a few tries in the bathroom, and then we're gonna do a few tests here before the final thoughts, so stay tuned for all of that. Let's go ahead and start with cloud paper. So the first test we're gonna do is a durability test. How we're gonna do this, I'm just gonna take one square and tug on it a little bit. That took like a lot of force though. I don't know. I hope you can gauge just how, how tough it is. It doesn't just crumble in your hands. But now the secondary test is to see how quickly it dissolves in water. So here we go. And then we're just gonna shake it up for a little bit, maybe 30 seconds or so. There you go, it's pretty much dissolved. Yeah, like I can't even reach in there and grab anything. Moving on to who gives a crap. Okay, durability test. Right off the bat, this one feels very similar to cloud paper, but like slightly thinner. But anyway, let's just, ooh, let's try one more piece. Yeah, that one did not, that one gave away a little bit quicker than cloud paper. Now, for the water test. Don't worry, we have new water. That dissolves really well. So this definitely depends on what you want on toilet paper. If you want one that dissolves better, maybe you have a weak septic system. Oh, this had parsley in it or something. I'm like, what is this green in here? Or maybe you have a perfectly fine septic system and you really wanted a, a tougher toilet paper. Let's move on to whole roll. Here we go. That one held up really well. Again, I was applying a lot of force, just gonna take my word for it. But once you do rip it, it seems to rip pretty easily. But I would equate that one to the toughness of, of cloud paper. But keep in mind, the toughness does not mean it's not still soft. It still feels like a normal toilet paper to use. This is just for durability's sake. Here we go, more clean water. <laughs> few more shakes. It still looks pretty chunky to me. Can you see that? Yeah, I think that's probably about as thin as it can go. It looks pretty similar to cloud paper in here. Dissolves, but still has a few chunks. And then the final one is Bim Bamboo. Ooh, this one's the thinnest. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous for this one. Not gonna lie. Oh gosh, I'm gonna go easy. And then add a little bit more. Yeah, but even then, like I said, when I actually used these, I didn't have any issues with them like tearing mid-wipe. More clean water, let's go. Clean water. Why is this lid on? Few more shakes, wow. That's pretty much dissolved already. So we saw similar, similar results with Who Gives a Crap and Whole Roll and the similar results with Cloud Paper and Bim Bamboo. So I think that's it for the experiments. Cue the final results or the final thoughts. Hey guys, we're back for my final thoughts on all of these toilet paper brands. So, drum roll please, which one is my favorite? I personally didn't see much of a difference with them. My only critique, like I said, was with whole roll in the whole Amazon situation, as well as they're kind of tough, not tough, but like they have a little bit of a texture. So it's not the softest toilet paper in the world, but it's still pretty soft. The other three though, cloud paper, bim bam boo, and who Gives a Crap are all very similar. They're all very soft, easy to use, 
when I like used it in the bathroom, I didn't really feel much of a difference compared to commercial toilet paper. That's with any of them. So I think that's what a lot of people are worried about. Like, oh no, is this toilet paper gonna be rough? Is it gonna be one ply, the worst toilet paper ever? No, they're all really high quality toilet papers. I would recommend them to anybody. And I personally think this is one of the easiest swaps you can make because it does not differ that much from say your average Charmin or insert other brand that I can't think of. And when it comes to price, they're all very similar in price as well. So you can literally choose whatever brand suits your fancy. Most of them also have a subscription service. So if you use on average one roll per week, you can calculate how many rolls you'll use in a month, in six months, in a year. You can sign up for their subscription service and never have to worry about going to the store and running out of toilet paper again, especially if we have another situation like we had last spring with the toilet paper. <laughs> I almost forgot the best part of this video and that is there's a giveaway. As you can see, there's some boxes back here and that is because three lucky people are gonna win three rolls of each brand that I reviewed in this video. So you're gonna get 12 total rolls of eco-friendly toilet paper. You get to try out all four brands just like I did so that way you get to know which one you like best and the rules to enter are very simple all you have to do is use the link down in my bio it's also gonna be pinned in the top of the comments and subscribe to my newsletter that's it or once you subscribe to my newsletter you need to come back to the video leave a comment saying that you've done it and then that's all you have to do on your part once this video has gone live for a week which is September 26th the giveaway is closed so sorry if you're seeing this video after that but be sure to subscribe for more giveaways in the future and then once the giveaway is closed, I will randomly select three people. I will email them as well as comment on their comment. I'll reply to their comment saying, congrats, you won. And then we'll be in communication from there, figuring out shipping details and so forth. If that person does not reply within 24 hours, I will pick someone else. Don't worry if you if you don't see the email right away, I'll email you again. So once you, once you have entered and that week mark has been be sure to check your spam email as well, just in case it goes there. And then that's it. The giveaway is completely free. It is open worldwide. Just a little, just a little token of my gratitude to say thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching, and thank you for always supporting my content. And again, huge thank you to these brands for helping me make videos like this possible so I don't have to buy a bunch of product and then because it's free I get to give some away to you guys as well now if you're already subscribed to my newsletter don't worry you're automatically entered but again be sure to leave the comment saying that you are entered and then the last thing I want to say is don't worry my newsletter is not spammy I only do about like two emails average a month I want to do one per week but it's a lot of work for me right now but the benefits you get from the newsletter is early access to future YouTube videos as well as things like discount codes random tips and tricks for being zero waste that I might not post on YouTube or Instagram and things like that. So definitely go subscribe, especially if you want to enter this giveaway. Good luck to everybody. So overall, those are my thoughts. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, if you wanna check out more toilet paper brands, be sure to check out Kristen's toilet paper videos. I'll leave them linked below. If you have any questions about these brands, leave them down below as well. And if you have any more suggestions for brand reviews, leave them below. <laughs> Everything's below. But what we have coming up, I still have laundry detergent review featuring a few popular brands. And then I have a review video coming out where it's just me reviewing like six or so miscellaneous brands, soap, bed sheets, toothpaste, a whole bunch of different things that I didn't really know what, how else to fit them into videos. So it's just gonna be a, a, a cumulative video of different brand reviews. So, but like, you know, if you caught my, where's this channel going video, I wanna gear this channel more towards activism. So I don't wanna focus so much on brand reviews anymore, but I still want to do them because shopping eco brands is one of the easiest things we can do as individuals. So let me know what you wanna see down below. If you made it this far, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, the button's right there. Go ahead and subscribe. I talk about all sorts of things zero waste, focusing on free, easy, and fun ways to live low waste, and now practical ways to be an activist as well. Oh, hi, buddy. Did you want to join? That's all that I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. And until next time, remember that your small actions have a big impact in the long run. Bye, guys. So today we are going to be... How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. But... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. And again, don't... I don't need to keep saying that, okay? Don't keep saying that. Let me, let me see. I really can't stand this piece of hair. That was weird with my face, I think. Um, oh well. Hey, I have a question. What, Dukes? Do you, do you want dinner? <gasps> you want dinner?